wanted to um, just do a little, I don't know, tip video. Um, when it comes to changing O-rings on um, PCPs or in PCPs, um, quite often I see where people have um, gone to remove an O-ring um, to fit a new one, um, and they may use, I don't know, a, a knife or a scalpel or a Stanley blade or a pen or something with a with a sharp point on it, and when they're trying to lever off the O-ring, they um, scratch the surface that they're um, that the O-ring well basically they scratch the um, O-ring groove. Um, the way O-rings work in PCPs and one well, in pneumatics in general um, is basically they sit in the O-ring groove. Uh, when you pressurize the cylinder or whatever it is that that um, the O-ring's fitted to, um, the O-ring basically pops into the little gap that's created between. Um, in this case, it would be the cylinder and this brass face, um, and it basically squashes into the um, into the small gap and seals it. Um, now, if you've got a, a small scratch on it, basically what you've then got is a little tunnel, a little channel for the air to leak past the O-ring, um, and that will obviously um, allow it to leak very slowly or badly if, if it's a, a deep scratch. Um, so when you're changing O-rings or taking O-rings off for whatever reason, just make sure that you use a tool that doesn't have any sharp edges. Obviously it needs to be sharp enough or thin enough to be able to get under the O-ring so that you can actually get it out. But um, just make sure that it's not scratching the surface um, because if it does, you're going to cause problems. Um, and then while I'm here, the other thing is um, I um, often see things where people have had a leak for whatever reason um, and they may or may not have changed the o-ring um, but then you'll find that they um, will then decide to go and use some plumber's tape um, on the threads, PTFE tape um, and basically high pressure air um, will, will squeeze past PTFE, it'll squeeze past threads um, the sealing is done by this little guy it's not done by PTFE on the threads or how tight you tighten something up. Um, you know, the tighter you tighten something up doesn't make it seal better when we're talking about 200, 300 bar. Um, this is the little guy that does all the work. So, um, you know, you could you could put this O-ring on, screw the cylinder on, and literally just screw it on finger tight. And as long as this O-ring's in good condition, and this is in good condition, it will seal. Um, you don't have to tighten it up and you know, really put pressure on it to uh, to to make it seal. Um, this little guy does all the work.